briefly go over how I would do a PT evaluation for BFR. So really it's your PT evaluation, adding in some extra things that you likely are not doing, maybe you are, uh, but I've found that a lot of clinicians are not always doing. Um, so in addition to your traditional PT uh, evaluation measures and outcomes, think about these things. We aren't always thinking, especially if they're not uh, post-operative patients, about DVT or arrhythmias. So I ask about that. I say, do you have a history of an arrhythmia? Do you have a history of a DVT? Because even if they're doing the intake form, sometimes they magically forget that they had a blood clot three years ago. Talking about recent illness. If they've had a recent illness, it's very much like if you have a temperature or a fever, um, and you go to the doctor, they're not going to give you your immunizations, okay? Same type of thing. If there's a risk of an infection, um, it's a question that I want to know. Waist circumference and BMI. It may be automatically done in your documentation system already, which is helpful. That's very good. Um, but looking from a cardiometabolic risk standpoint, waist circumference and BMI really give us an indication of their risk for cardiovascular disease. Okay, it doesn't tell you what it is, but it gives you a good idea. The larger the waist circumference, the larger the BMI, the greater the risk for cardiovascular disease. Pregnancy, I always ask females whether they're pregnant. They may not be showing yet. They may be trying. They may, uh, may not know.